Johnny could never see the big picture. He'd rather say somebody else screwed up than try and make it right. Things don't work that way. You deliver or there's a problem. We had a problem, a big problem. Uncle Mike was a made man, one of the family, a group of men who had always thought of as kind, grandfatherly types. But they were men like my father, killers. From the outside, they looked harmless, the kind of men who played nickel and dime poker or put an occasional $2 bet down at the track. These guys were big time dangerous, like vampires. I'm sure they had my father killed. One day I'd find out who pulled the trigger. That's what kept me here. Wait, 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 there's more. The Doberman says to the French poodle, I'm just here to get my friggin' nails done. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, huh? Yeah. Mm. This is good sauce today, Sal. It's really good. <laughs> all right, all right, thanks. Polano, let me ask you something. Think about getting Sherry here some implants. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I want to know, is that a mortal sin for me because I buy them or for her because she wears them? You don't know this stuff? Check with the bishop. Get back to me, will you? <laughs> you don't look Mike. I know I'm late. I'm sorry. Listen, uh, I uh, picked up some cannolis. My mom baked them fresh. Take them in the kitchen. Sorry, I'm late. Sal, so I'm going to go in the kitchen for a minute, all right? Father, excuse me a second. Go ahead, eat, eat. Don't let it get cold. Have some more wine. I'll be right back. <clears throat> what? I'm fucking starving. I just can always, Angie. So who's this? This is uh, Johnny. Johnny who? Johnny D. Felice. He, uh, drove me. Ronnie's kid? Yeah. How you doing? I do all right. The fuck is that shit in your hair, Angie? What? It smells like a fucking beauty parlor in here. You don't walk into the restaurant with Father Paul sitting next to me, smelling like my wife's underwear drawer. It ain't the way it's done. Look at you. You look like a couple of fucking homeless guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what do I got to do with you? All right, so, uh, well, give me the fucking pictures so I can get back to my dinner in peace. Come on, let me have them. Quit wasting my time. Yeah, now I'm Uncle Mike. You know, between the two of you, you got a thimble full of fucking brains. Well, maybe your information was wrong. Let's go, John. Could it be? No, 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 no. no. John, let's go. That you were even a bigger asshole than your old man was? What the fuck does that mean? Well, what do you think it means? It means, one, that your old man was an asshole. It means, two, you gotta make this right with me or you're gonna be a fucking asshole. You go the fuck back to Pacoima and you get what I fucking want. Well, you already talked to him into a fucking blue in the face, okay? <laughs> no, it's not okay. You don't show your fucking faces in here again until you get what I want. You get those fucking pictures. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to put two and two together when I get through with you. Your asshole photographer is dead. All right. Come again? It was an accident. Now stop it, Angie. It was no accident. I stuck him. You would have done the same thing, too. I'm like you. I'm not afraid to do what has to be done. You stuck him? <laughs> and I saw blood like a pig. The dude's probably the size of a baseball by now. The dude? The dude? That dude was my wife's second cousin, you fucking asshole. What? That's right, your fucking cousin. So let me get this straight. The guy's liquid now, right? Which I really don't give two shits about, cousin or no cousin, if I had gotten what I wanted. But you see, what you did now is you put me in the same pot of shit with him. Now I'm the one that comes up on the short end of the stick because I didn't get those pictures. At least you ain't dead.
I should have seen it coming. Three blind mice could have seen it coming. This was a test. Uncle Mike was preparing for battle. He was the army, the navy, the marines all rolled in the one. And we, we were the Boy Scouts. I like this guy. <laughs> He's got fucking balls. He's a tough guy. So, uh, you're pretty good with a knife, huh? I'm better than good. <laughs> <laughs> and you're looking for work, is that it, knife boy? It depends. On what? On how much money it pays. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about how much it pays. Come here. Let's see, what would a guy like you normally... Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Fuck out of here! Oh! Hey, you oh! motherfucker! How much am I gonna fucking pay you? Here's how much! Oh! You think you're like... interfere with me your father brought me out here and made me what I am today so I owe it to him to take care of you but don't you ever you hear me don't you ever forget your fucking priorities uh, now get your fucking friend and get the fuck out of here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 